I'm Kylie May. I am an actor, I'm an artist, I'm a storyteller, and I identify as a transgender two-spirit woman. Historically, two-spirit people were artists, were educators, you know, were a lot of things, warriors, healers. So I feel it connects me to a long history of my lineage and my ancestors. I sort of just, I guess, walk between worlds. I'm a multidisciplinary artist. Transitioning is also a form of art and it's my greatest artwork to date. I'm Mohawk, I'm Haudenosaunee from Six Nations. I grew up in a reserve. You know, there was a lot of homophobia there, transphobia. There's sort of like a, a machismo culture that existed. It's very gendered. I believe that even amongst indigenous communities who still have their culture and their traditions, I'm pretty certain that, you know, we were impacted and influenced by colonial Christian beliefs and attitudes. So a lot of ceremonies are actually very gendered. It's been shown and documented throughout history that that's not always been the case. Two-spirit people, there's always been room for, you know, crossing genders or crossing the gender line. I've acknowledged that my mother and my stepfather were kind of, you know, they, were, they grew up in the culture and they were, I guess, socially conditioned. I could never come out and, you know, tell them who I really was and live the life that I wanted. So I sort of had to just suppress all of that for many years. I'm able to see where the community still has a lot of learning and growth to do, but I'm also able to see the tremendous positive changes Coming to Toronto, moving to the city was really what helped me, you know, connect with community and find people who really inspired me to live my truth. So I just noticed this sign here, um, which was reappropriated and reclaimed by the artist. Um, they put warrior regalia on this walking person, which I think is so rad. I love it. I really think that me living by example is a way to sort of take up space and to educate people and to really show younger people. I always keep in mind younger generations and youth coming behind me who might need someone to look up to. I know when I started transitioning, there were people who had, I guess, walked the path before me, really inspired me and gave me a lot of encouragement. So I kind of want to do that in the same way. I feel like Indigenous people, you know, had to assimilate and adapt and learn a lot of like colonial English language and culture, it would be amazing if everybody else in Canada, you know, could do the work and learn some indigenous languages and learn some more about the culture. So it would be amazing if I could hear people's indigenous terminology being accepted and incorporated into the broader queer community, like at Pride. I'm, I mean, that's that's a long way away, but you know, me personally, I would love to find words in my language to describe being transgender or two-spirit, which I haven't yet, but I'm still on a mission.